Hey, what's up everyone? I am very excited to welcome you to my Logic Pro 11 Side Chaining Techniques course. My name is Josh Carney, but many of you might already know me as Music Tech Help Guy on YouTube. In this course, I'm gonna break down 20 of my favorite side chaining techniques in Logic Pro using only stock plugins in Logic. No third party plugins will be required to follow along. However, a lot of these techniques I'm going to show you can also be applied to third party effects and instruments and even DAWs other than Logic Pro. As always, the course will be completely free to watch on YouTube, but if you'd like to download the course ad free and get access to the demo projects I use for each lesson so you can work along with me, you can purchase the course over at my website, logicproguide.com. So first, let's answer the question, what is a sidechain and what is sidechaining in audio and music production? A sidechain is simply an external signal that controls the behavior of an effect or instrument. Throughout this course, you'll often hear me call this external control signal a sidechain source. Side chaining is the process of using that source to shape the dynamics, tone, or movement in your music or other audio projects. For example, I'm using side chaining right now to duck the volume of the background music so you can hear me speak clearly. And when I'm not speaking, you can hear that the level of the background music comes up automatically. And that's because I'm using my voice as an external sidechain source to control the behavior of the background music. In this case, it's the volume of the background music. Now that's a really simple example, but sidechaining is incredibly versatile and can be applied in all sorts of practical mixing situations. You can use it to duck instruments out of the way of a vocal, duck delays and reverbs so your vocals stay clear. You can have rhythm instruments duck slightly when a lead part comes in. You can add punch and dynamics with an expander, fine tune compression using a sidechain detection filter, or even apply a match EQ inversely to carve out cluttered frequencies. Beyond mixing, sidechain also has a lot of creative possibilities. You can use a gate to create the heavy pumping effect you often hear in genres like future bass and other electronic music. You can create gated rhythmic sequences and filter based sequence effects, trigger envelope followers inside effects and synthesizers to add movement and modulation, set up an auto wah to follow the groove of a drum part or design complex frequency dependent effects chains. All of these are techniques that I will cover throughout this course. Next, let's dive into a demo project so I can show you three quick examples of side chaining techniques. Okay, so in this first demo project, we've got a plucked lead, we've got some synth chords, a bass, and then we also have a drum machine designer that can open up and show all of the kit pieces inside of that kit. Let's give a bit of the A section a listen here. For now, let's go ahead and mute the chords and melody. Let's just listen to the bass and drums. So you can hear that the kick drum and the beat and the bass are lining up, but the bass is all long notes. Now that may be what you want, but another way to approach this is you could put the noise gate on the bass track. Go ahead and turn it on. And then you can use the sidechain input in the noise gate to have the kick drum trigger the notes in the bass. So to do that, I'll click here, I'll go to instrument, and I can select the kick drum from the DMD kit. Here I'll select kick one. And so what's gonna happen here is the kick drum is gonna make the noise gate open, and then the noise gate's going to close based on the envelope settings I've set here. So we're getting a natural decay, almost like an 808 type of sound on each one of these bass notes, instead of it just being all long notes. You could also use this as a ducker. 
So here the bass is gonna get out of the way when the kick hits. We're gonna do that on another track. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the gate on and let's move on to the B section here. Let's check out this pluck synth lead along with these synth chords. So the plucks and the chords are kind of clashing with each other a bit. Let's pull up this compressor on the Amber Dark Chords track. And what we're going to do is we're going to duck the level of the chords a little bit on each one of these plucks. So I'll go ahead and turn on the compressor. I'll go to the compressor's sidechain input. And this time we are selecting an audio source. So I'll select the Blue Skies Pluck Lead. And now when I hit play... You can see that each pluck is ducking down the level of the chords. Anytime you use an external sidechain source, you'll see this little arrow added to the plugin insert. Next up, let's check out the B section here. So those alien harp chords are a bit harsh sounding. Let's use the auto filter on this track to make it more interesting and create sort of a filtered rhythmic sequence. So in the auto filter, we're going to use its side chain input along with its envelope follower to apply some motion from the envelope to the cutoff frequency of the filter. So let's go ahead and turn this on, go to the side chain menu, and let's use the drums again, but instead of using the kick drum, let's go ahead and use the hi-hat. So I'll select hi-hat one. So every time the hi-hat plays, this is opening up the filter and creating a nice filtered rhythmic sequence. In that demo project, a lot of the setup was already done for us. We just had to select the correct sidechain source. But to really understand how sidechaining works, it's important to start with the fundamentals. That's why over the next eight videos, we'll dive into the sidechain section and the detection filter inside of Logic's compressor and cover all the ins and outs of how they function. Once you've got those basics down, we'll move on to sidechaining techniques with other Logic plugins like the noise gate, expander, auto filter, fat effects, fuzz wah, and match EQ. Not every effect in Logic has a sidechain input, but these are all great examples of ones that do. While we won't spend a lot of time on instruments with sidechain inputs, I will show you how to use the sidechain input and the envelope follower in Alchemy to create some really cool synthesis modulation. So stick around, follow along with the demos, and by the end of this course, you'll have a full toolkit of sidechaining techniques you can use to take your mixes and productions to the next level. Remember, if you want to get full access to download all of the demo projects I use in this course, head over to logicproguide.com. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. Thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.